Hello, it's Tanya. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. What I want to do today is I want to make some craft fair project ideas, and these would also make great gifts, all right? So what you're going to need is some of these little sticky notes from the Dollar Tree, and you get five pads for $1.25. You'll need a ruler. You'll need some glue. I'm gonna use my Barely Art glue. You're gonna need a scoring board, bone folder, and just some paper of your choice. It's totally up to you what you want to use. And I made a prototype to show you. I think this is adorable. And you'll need some embellishments if you want to put some on. I got this at Hobby Lobby this year. It's a sticker. But I thought, I've had this paper in my stash for a long time, and I thought how cute this would be, and I just put that on there. So that's what we're going to be making. Really simple, easy project, great for beginners, and like I said, great for craft fairs or gifts. So what I've already done is cut down my paper. I've had this, now double-sided paper I think works best, but you don't have to have double-sided paper. Um, so, I've cut this down to six and a half by three inches, okay? So, it's six and a half this way and three inches that way. Then we're going to score it. So, I'm going to get my scoreboard out. All right, and I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to score at three and one eighth. and three and three eighths, okay? And we just made a little spine is what we just did, all right? And then I'm just going to move my scoreboard. I am all thumbs today. <laughs> so I'm just gonna score that. And then I'm going to get this one. And I'm gonna score along that. Then you can see we have this nice little spine, okay? And I think it's gonna be adorable. This is so simple, don't blink, you'll miss it. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to get, I don't know which color I think would look good in here. Um, I kinda of like that pink, okay? So we're gonna open it up. Now you, on this one, I put a little fox here. You could even put a little pocket if you wanted, but I didn't really see the need for that. And I'm just gonna get my Barely Art glue. These would also make great mass makes. And I'm just gonna glue the back down. Gonna pick this up. Basically, Snug that right in there where it's flush top and bottom and press down. And look, you have this, it is so pretty. Look how pretty that is. It's pretty from the front, it's pretty from the back, it's pretty when you open it up. And then here's all your sticky notepads. I didn't think this really needed anything. I mean, you could put a little closure on it if you wanted, but I, you really don't need it. And I didn't think with this that it even needed any embellishing on the front. So there's two so far. Now I wanted to get this. It's double-sided once again. Like I said, I've had this all in my stash for a long time, so I can't link the paper, but I'll link everything that I can link, okay? Once again, we're gonna get this. I'm gonna flip this over. We're gonna score it at three and one eighth. And we're gonna score it at three and three eighths. All right. This could not be any simpler. There's very little measuring or scoring involved in this. It is so simple. Okay, we're gonna burnish that down. We're gonna burnish that down. 
then that gives us once again our pretty little spine i love it all right then i'm just going to pick um i think i'm just going to put this yellow one in here so simple like i said it's really unbelievable how quickly you could knock these out like i said great mass makes if you're going to a craft fair or if you just want to give somebody a gift christmas will be coming up now naturally i would do a christmas theme if i did the christmas but there that is look how pretty that is it's so pretty and you don't have to put anything on the inside cover if you didn't want to now i use some of these little dies that i have i got them off of amazon i believe i'll link them if i can find them and you can make little bows now i don't know if i'm going to do this we'll look at it i don't know let's see i made a couple i first thought maybe i would do like this pattern i thought maybe i really might like something and you don't have to layer them. It's totally up to you. Um, but you could if you wanted to add a little more interest. Can't pick anything up. <laughs> okay, look at that. I think that's cute. And then if you wanted, you could do this around here. But I don't really like that one. You could do it like that if you wanted, or I have this one and just keep it all the same. And I might just do this. I think that's cute. So let's glue this on here. I'm going to get my art glitter glue out. You really don't need a lot of glue. Now, once this sticks, it really will hold. And then we'll just glue this little back right there. I didn't need that extra. Okay. And then you can really make this dimensional by just really bending it. I think that's so, or you could bend it that way. Look at that, isn't that cute? I don't know if I wanna put that on there, but it's really, I think I do like it. You could take a little, uh, like pencil and do it like this really has it helps it to take shape let's just do it why not okay and i'll just put some glue right there and i'll put it about right there and hold it and here is another one these are so simple like i've said repeatedly to make but these would sell, I think you could get a good amount. Well, I mean, they're not really expensive. You couldn't get a lot out of them at a craft fair, but I think they would go quickly because these would be great little gifts because everybody needs a little thing like this just to keep sticky notes on. They're really cute at your desk. Let's take a look at them. Okay, here are my little craft fair project ideas with a fall theme in mind you definitely could do this for christmas and i probably will but like i said they would make great gifts also but here's the one i made off camera i just thought it was really pretty great way to use up scraps of paper because like i said it's just six and a half long by three wide and then i put that little embellishment on the top and that beautiful little fox on the inside then here is the second one. I really like this one. 
and you can color coordinate your sticky pads if you want. You don't have to, but I love this. And then here's the last one that we made with the little bow. I just really love this. I think it is so pretty. So if you enjoyed this video on craft fair project ideas using items from the Dollar Tree, little sticky notepads, then like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, stay crafty.